Good morning. I am going to begin this meditation by asking, really, how are you doing? How are you dealing with this time of isolation, the time of COVID-19? I think it'll be interesting to see how we look back upon these days. I think one of the things I will remember most is the idea of keeping two meters or six feet apart in distancing. I was thinking about this and these times we are living in, and I found some quotes that I want to share with you. First is by Celine Dion. Life imposes things on you that you can't control, but you still have the choice of how you're going to live through this. And of course, we do have the choice to do social distancing. Marie Curie said, nothing is to be feared. It is only to be understood. Now is the time to understand more so that we may fear less. I love this quote by Joseph Campbell. Opportunities find deeper powers within ourselves when life seems most challenging. Winston Churchill, man of few words at times, said, if you're, going to, if you're going through hell, keep going. Oprah Winfrey, doing the best at this moment puts you in the best place for the next moment. And one of my favorite quotes, which was in the film, The Marigold, The Exotic Marigold Hotel, it's actually attributed to John Lennon. Everything will be okay in the end. If it's not okay, it's not the end. And finally, I'll close off our quotes with one by Pico Ayer. He said, going nowhere isn't about turning your back on the world. It's about stepping away now and then so that you can see the world more clearly and love it more deeply. When we are talking about social distancing and isolation, I know a number of people have said to me, perhaps the most difficult thing is not being able to be with our loved ones. People are missing their grandchildren, missing their parents, children, missing being with the ones we love. And let's face it, wasn't Easter strange when we weren't allowed to gather in large gatherings, whether here at the church or with our own families? I was thinking about uh, love in the time of isolation and social distancing. How do we love? And I want to read to you a quote from uh, Paul's letter to the Corinthians, and it's a passage of scripture that quite often is read at weddings. And um, he writes about the qualities of love, saying, if I speak in the tongues of mortals and angels, but do not have love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away all my possessions, and if I hand over my body so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. But as for prophecies, they will come to an end. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will come 
to an end. And now, faith, hope, and love abide, these three, and the greatest of these is love. I want to add another characteristic to love, and that is today, love is keeping our distance. The other day, we had a tradesperson come to our home and to do some repairs that were necessary. And when he arrived, he kind of approached and started to chat. And he was maybe about 10 feet away, and I'm telling him what needs to be done. Well, then he moved a little closer, eight feet away. And I'm still describing what needs to be done. He gets a little closer, seven feet away. And I'm beginning to think of all of the social connections, all of the interactions that he's had, and is he going to affect me? And by the same token, I'm wondering, am I going to affect him? Maybe I have COVID-19 and I don't know. And, you know, as he's getting closer and closer, I didn't know what to say. You know, I didn't want to be, you know, not nice. Could I tell him to back up? Could I be downright rude? One of my colleagues has said, what is proper etiquette during Corona time? What is etiquette at this time? You know, etiquette is not fundamentally about salad forks and stationery. Etiquette, at least the picture we have in the Bible, is showing hospitality to other people. It's about honoring and respecting others. In other words, to quote a song, we are polite in order to be kind to others. But this was my realization. In a time of the highly contagious pandemic, when I might be sick and not even know it, when other people might be at risk, when medical supplies are in short supply, maybe the most polite thing to do is just to be rude. And that's what I did. I just held up my hand and I said, stop, don't come any closer. You're coming into my space. And as I did that, it's amazing. The song that Diana Ross and the Supreme sang in 1965, Stop in the Name of Love, came to me. And then I went on to explain to him, I don't mean to be rude, but maybe for the sake of our loved ones, we better follow this six feet apart rule. And he, he looked at me, I don't know if maybe nobody has spoken to him about the six foot rule, but he did graciously back up. So the real paraphrase of Elvis Costello is in these days, it's rude to be kind. So maybe that's what we need to do these days. We need to be rude in the name of love, health, and public safety. We need to be rude. We need to be keeping our social distance. And maybe we need to adopt a new coronavirus gesture, holding up our just washed hands and saying, in the name of love, stop. In the name of love, back up. I have one more quote. I want to leave with you. The quote is by Charles Schultz, and Charles says, all you need is love, but a little chocolate now and then doesn't hurt. I think that's what we need during this time of pandemic. We need to show one another love. And 
we are finding that love is such a rich thing that we can still find love. We can still find ways to love our families, maybe not in person, not through hugs or kisses, but through the internet, through our words saying how much we do love them. And I know many families are uh, showing love by getting groceries for more senior members in their families uh, and giving phone calls. There are all kinds of ways for us to show a new form of love. And let's face it, isn't it love for everyone when we do keep our distance so that we aren't infecting anyone? Would you join with me in prayer? Gracious God, we are living in very different times. And yet you remind us that you are with us in these very different times, that you are a God who continues to love us and to care for us. During these times, may we explore in our own lives how we love one another. May we see how rich and how deep our own love is. May we discover a new profoundness to our love, new facets, new ways of being in love and expressing that love. And we pray for anyone who is feeling not loved at this time, that your spirit would reach out and touch them. If there is anyone who is feeling alone in isolation, we pray that we might reach out to them, that they might know that there are others who care for them and love them. We pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Until tomorrow, I wish you the blessings of today and God's love.